Hi, my name's Carol. Welcome to Hummingbird Spot. This is the fourth episode of my first trip to Peru to film hummingbirds. If you haven't seen my previous episodes, you can click there. The whole reason I chose Peru as my next place I wanted to photograph hummingbirds was because I wanted to photograph the marvelous spatula tail. The marvelous spatula tail hummingbird is the number one hummingbird on everybody's list. And the best place to find it is at the Wembo Reserve. The Wembo Reserve is near the town of Pomachochis, and it's an ecological easement that was purchased also by Ecowon and the American Bird Conservancy, specifically to protect the marvelous spatula tail. We didn't stay at the Wembo Reserve, we stayed in the town of Pomachochis. So when we got up in the morning, we planned to have a picnic breakfast outside the gates while we were waiting for Santos Montenegro, the coordinator of the Wembo Reserve, to come open the gate and let us in. <laughs> Here we are in Wembo at the home of the marvelous spatula tail. I'm so excited. We've waited so long for this moment. We're finally here. Let's go find this guy. We were planning on spending three days here at the reserve because I know people who have been here to try to find this bird and after spending a whole day never seeing it. So I wanted to be sure that we were going to spot this bird on this trip. So we planned to stay here for three days. We put our equipment down. I was unzipping my bag and getting ready to put my camera together. And Steve Sanchez says, there it is. <laughs> it took about 15 seconds to see my first wonderful, marvelous spatula tail hummingbird. We saw two male marvelous spatula tail hummingbirds. There was one that was still growing his feathers. He had just finished a molt not too long ago, and his two straight central tail feathers were still pin feathers. And his long spatula containing feathers were shorter than they would be when they're fully grown out. This bird was very animated, stayed at the feeders, perched in the area, and we got to see him a lot and film him a lot. But there was also another male that had its feathers completely perfect, and he also posed for us. I am so in love with this bird that I can't stay away. We spent a few days here filming these two birds, but I was already making plans to come back here to Huembo three months later during mating season so I could watch the male display. You'll have to wait a few more weeks to see those episodes. There are some other beautiful hummingbirds here also at the Huembo Reserve. One of them is the chestnut-breasted coronet. Oh, what a bird. <laughs> this bird is so aggressive. He's so beautiful with a brilliant green head, emerald green head and back, and beautiful chestnut colored chest. He's also chestnut under his wings. You get to see under his wings a lot because the coronets, when they land, they hold their wings up for a split second before they put them down. So I was always trying to photograph one with its wings up. They are very, very aggressive. In fact, this is the most aggressive hummingbird that I have ever seen. I mean, to this date. I would love to see a chestnut-breasted coronet and a rufous hummingbird in the ring together. And I'm really not sure who would win. Well, the chestnut-breasted coronets, they chase every other bird. They fight with each other. I have pictures of chestnut-breasted coronets with feathers missing off of them that you could see that they had been in fights. Now, usually the chestnut-breasted coronets are chasing away the bird I'm trying to photograph. So even though they're beautiful birds, you know, you really grow to dislike these guys. While we were on the platform filming the spatula tail, William Oriana looked up and he saw a female green-tailed train bearer. She seemed to be perched way up high in the tree watching us watch the feeders. 
We got some great pictures of her, but if she was around, there had to be some males around. Now, I had seen pictures of the male green-tailed train bearer, and it is a magnificent bird. So William set out to try to find one of them for me. The green-tailed train bearer is found in Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. The male's tail is very, very long. The female also has a long tail, but not quite as long as the male's. What a beautiful bird this is. The Andean emerald is another cloud forest bird that can be found from Colombia, through Ecuador, and through northern Peru. This bird is pretty plentiful at the Wemo Lodge, and I've also seen them on lots of subsequent trips, but they're so cute. that They have a white throat, a white abdomen, greenish back, but the side of the neck and the top of the head, a brilliant aqua. Some of the birds have purple or blue on the top of their head. We left and we were now on our way to Moyambamba to our next destination. But as we were driving there, we got very close to La Llanteria, where we had gone previously, and we ran into somebody that we had met at dinner at the Owlet Lodge, and he told us that right now the white-tipped sicklebill was there. So we made an unscheduled stop back at La Llanteria. We hiked up to the hillside where there was a heliconia plant, and that's where the white-tipped sicklebill was feeding. So we stayed there and staked it out, and sure enough, he came. The white-tipped sicklebill is a really interesting bird. It's found in Central America, in Costa Rica and Panama, and also in Colombia, Ecuador, and Northern Peru. The beak is really curved as this bird has evolved to be able to get the nectar out of heliconia flowers. He can sit and put that curved beak all the way in where the nectar is. Once we finished with the sickle bill, we all piled in the car and we were on our way to the Wakanki Lodge in Moyambamba. There, I got to film seven more new species of hummingbirds, and that's where we're going next Sunday. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell, because next Sunday you're going to see some beautiful hummingbirds, including the fork-tailed wood nymph and the amethyst wood star. See you then!